What's up, YouTube? Happy to come to you. Captain Awesome Fish Room, Jeff Combs Provide, bringing y'all a cool video today. Now, a lot of y'all really liked my green phantom plecos that I got. Really cool. Uh, really excited to have those fish. Uh, and I got a couple other plecos y'all haven't seen yet either. But today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some very, very cool fish coming. Shut that. Uh, but I'm going to show you those fish, uh, but I'm going to show you my quarantine tank. I'm going to show you how easy it can be just to make a simple quarantine contraption tank, whatever. You don't have to have a 10 gallon tank. You don't have to have a glass tank even. Uh, it's really simple, really easy. Uh, the fish aren't here yet, but they'll be soon. They're out for delivery right now. Uh, so I'm going to I'm gonna take you down. We're going to take a look at this. I'm going to show you how I made it. I mean, there's really not much to it, but it's functional and it's going to work great. So I hope you are excited because I'm excited to bring it to you. I'm really excited to get these fish. Uh, not a lot of people have these. Uh, well, a lot of people have this species of fish, but not a lot of people have this color morph of this species of fish. So, it's going to be really exciting. Uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, what else am I forgetting? Oh, overwhelming response to the, to the video before the last one. Y'all really want to see the store I work at. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a tank, or a tank a store tour of the fish paradise i'm going to take you all around show you all everything uh salt water fresh water all of it guys corals invertebrates uh fish everything i'm going to show you everything so get ready for that but until then let's take a look at what we got going on down here Alright, so here it is, and all this is is a styrofoam, shi styrofoam shipping container, okay? This is what everybody ships fish in, it, well, at least professionally. Uh, I mean, it's like a styrofoam box, it's not the styrofoam inserts, okay? Uh, it's a styrofoam box, here's the lid right here. This is the lid right here, it goes on, you can see it kind of buckles in there, it has that lip. You see it goes inside that lid okay now this is my quarantine setup guys look at it look how simple that is you don't have to have a 10 gallon tank you don't have to have a rubbermaid tub you need something that can hold water that's clean that hasn't ever had chemicals or anything like that in it okay that's all you need uh, I mean if you have it Go out and buy a styro or a styrofoam. Go out and buy a five-gallon bucket. Use that as a quarantine tank if your fish, are, if the fish is small enough, of course. Uh, but you know, I just kind of wanted to give an example of you know how creative you know you can be when you think about it. You just uh, you know use whatever. Uh, you know, I mean, better safe than sorry. So basically, all it is or actually all it is not basically we've got a styrofoam tank okay pretty deep uh i got about i don't know i'd say maybe eight to ten inches of water in there yeah something about some some somewhere around there uh i got a moving bed filter oh blocking the camera sorry uh with k1 coldness uh, that one has been running in the b night tank for I don't know how long. Uh, it's been in there even since before the b night. It's been in there over a year. Nice and seated. I uh, also have some nice and seated uh, bio rings down there. And then I have this rock sitting on top of the moving bed filter uh, just to hold it down. Airline running to my linear piston pump. And that's it. I used aged water, I used half aged water and half new water. Uh, I think that's important because, uh, you know, the new tank syndrome thing, you know, I mean, even though you have uh, uh, cycled media and everything in there, uh, I feel, in my opinion, 
it's better to use a little aged tank water that's in that, that comes from a tank that's been used for a while or been in service for a while that has fish in it and stuff like that. Uh, so I used half uh, aged tank water uh, and I filled the rest up with uh, dechlorinated tap. And I used extra prime uh, because whenever they get here, uh, prime will help with slime coat, rejuvenation, stuff like that. So uh, that's, I mean, it's as simple as that, guys. It's a styrofoam box, water, and a filter. It doesn't even have to be a sponge filter, okay? It doesn't. Now, a sponge filter uh, is, if that's all you have, that is the best filter to use inside of a quarantine tank because it's easy to take care of, it's easy to store, and so on. Uh, but remember, way back in a way back when in a video, I said I'm making this for a reason. This is the reason I use it as a quarantine filter. And if I end up having to treat, you know, uh, you know, for whatever, then I have plenty more K1, and all I have to do is just rinse this and clean this K1 if I need to. It's not a big deal. Uh, I mean, it's just an extra filter I have, uh, an extra seated, ready-to-go filter that I had uh, for these reasons, you know, to either set up a new tank, a quarantine, whatever. So, simple as that, guys. Something that will hold water that's it's clean. Uh, simple air-driven pump and uh, some cycled media. Aged water and then uh, new tap water. Uh, so the nitrates are really low in here. Uh, I think I just tested it. It was around five parts per million or something like that. So nice clean water for these fish to come in. Uh, it's coming from a really good source. So I'm not worried about it anyway. Uh, I just want to keep them in quarantine and, uh, you know, just check them out for a little bit before I throw them in uh, with the fish that I'm throwing them in there with. Because the fish that this guy, these fish are going with, is a very very expensive fish and I do not want that fish to get sick so really simple really easy and I hope this gives you all some ideas of you know what you could do if you need a quarantine tank you know Rubbermaid tote five gallon bucket styrofoam box uh, you know whatever I mean uh, a regular box lined with a really thick uh, um, shipping bag you could even do that guys get creative with it think outside the box and you can do anything okay so this is the quarantine setup I uh, just wanted to show that to you and the next clip that you'll see it'll be a couple hours for me uh, but it'll be a split second for you and you'll be able to see the fish so stay tuned I hope y'all are excited because I am super, super excited. Uh, and guys, lastly, before we go, uh, on to the next clip, I want to thank each and every one of you for the love and support y'all show of my channel lately. Uh, well over 6,000 subscribers. I can't believe that. Y'all show love and support down inside the comments. Greatly appreciate that. I mean, it truly, truly means a lot to me for y'all to come to my channel and watch and, you know, share your views and even if you don't like something i'm doing you're y'all not y'all aren't afraid to say hey you know why are you doing it this way blah 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 and we discuss it uh i just want to thank y'all from the bottom of my heart for all the love and support uh it truly means a lot to me and i'm so happy that i'm a youtube channel that can bring you know so much joy to so many people so again thank you so much and without further ado, here we go. All right, guys, so they're here. And as I said before, it was a couple hours for me, but it was a split second for you. So here it is, live fish. Now, I ordered these from Angels Plus, if that gives you any idea of what they are. Go and check them out. Really, really, really awesome company. Steve over there is... Uh, really great guy really easy to deal with uh, so we're gonna take the Sweeney Todd straight razor open this bad boy up this knife is nice by the way look at the detail on that now this is just a replica 
Uh, it's not, I mean, it's not a real Sweeney Todd straight razor. Those things are stupid expensive. Uh, but it'll do. It's totally unnecessary for the open of this box, but it's the only blade I could find. So let's go in here and take a ganda. Hope I'm staying in frame here. See, I'm up in my camera game, guys. I got me a little tripod, tripod here. Had my friend Andy up at the shop sharpen this bad boy for me, and boy, let me tell you, he knows how to sharpen a knife. All right, so right off the bat, very, very nice packing. Uh, even comes with a little, uh, a little paper to show you how to acclimate, the best ways to acclimate and stuff like that. Uh, really, really good thing to do, especially if you're uh, shipping to people and you don't know that whether they're a new hobbyist or not. So I want to pick this up, show you what's inside the box here. You can see it's lined. This stuff here is insulation. So a uh, really, really good packing job. Let me set this back down here. And uh, we'll go ahead and take the bag out. <clears throat> get rid of this box so check that out guys nice packing all insulated inside of another shipping bag I uh, also like the way he ties these because and I'll show you all how to do this in a video a lot of people think they know how to do this but they do it wrong they 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 uh, they make a knot in it so it makes it hard to pop but all you got to do is pull this tab here boom and the rubber band comes right off that's the right way to do it. So let's uh, get this out here. The insulation is all taped around the bag, so we're gonna cut this off. Look at all that insulation, guys. Look at that keeps the fish nice and warm and without further ado oh and there was a heat pack in there still warm look at all that insulation very very nice packing job this definitely won't be the last time I order from Angels Plus and here we are Angel fish. Now these are standard fin. These are not veal tail. Uh, I don't like the way veal tail angels look. Uh, but the strain or the color variant is uh, koi. Now if you can't see in the picture because they are a little stressed, uh, this variation of koi is super super high orange. Now this is their select grade so this is the best grade of their super orange angels you can get and man they're just I mean they I mean they look beautiful right off the bat look at that I got four of these guys I plan on breeding them I mean look at wow super super gorgeous their finish is just perfect they look alert and healthy and like I said this is their select grade so this is the highest grade of super orange angels that you can get super orange koi's that you can get from Angels Plus uh, Steve over there is the one that uh, got this color variant going as far as I understand but these guys are just phenomenal look at that so I'm gonna pause the video I'm gonna acclimate them and uh, we'll be right back. And uh, one more thing, I just uh, I just realized I didn't mention this. Um, he used two bags to bag them, and let me show you. Let me show you here. Uh, the first bag that he used to put the fish in is upside down. Now you see this? Let me pull it out of the bag. See that? How it's upside down? So the corners are at the top. And then 
he put it inside the bag to where the top of the bag was at the bottom of this bag and then re-rubber band it so it closes off these corners so the fish can't get stuck in the corner and suffocate. So awesome packing job by Angels Plus, Steve over at Angels Plus. They look phenomenal, wow. But we'll be right back. All right guys, so as promised, we are back, but uh, I found my Sternella Pleco, one of my newer Plecos. You can see him right there. Uh, kind of looks like a Scarlet, except uh, these guys have like a leopard pattern on them. They have orange fins too. But I wanted to show you him because I didn't get a chance to show him in my last video with my Quattro of Green Phantoms. That guy is super gorgeous, super, super gorgeous. Uh, so we'll put this light back up here so they can have their, their growing. Make sure all that's good. Yeah, there we go. So here we go. They are all acclimated and doing well very alert and looking good let me turn off this air so you can get a better look at them uh, now these are a koi angelfish the color variant is koi uh, but they're a very high orange color uh, and this is like I said in the previous clip this is the select uh, I guess select grade of the super red or super orange koi angels that uh, Angels Plus sells. Uh, Steve hand picks these himself uh, to make them the select grade. Uh, they have a very high orange content, doing well, very active. And uh, I'm going to try feeding them later. I might make a video of that. Uh, but yeah. Um, added a heater to here because I forgot to add a heater and I added an extra airline with